Hello, welcome back. Hi, if you don't know who I am, my name is Glory and I crochet stuffed animals. Now today, obviously you came here because you want to know how to make your stuffed animals a tad bit cuter. If you know me, you know that every single crochet plushie that I've ever made has been made with embroidered eyes. This came because I didn't have safety eyes with me at first when I started this business, mainly because I didn't feel like buying safety eyes because I didn't want that to be an extra expense. So I figured why not use what I have? And at the time I had yarn and yarn is what I use and yarn is what I continue to use to this day. As the years have gone by, I perfected this embroidery eye, hopefully, You'll learn a thing or two from this video as well. In a minute, I'm gonna share with you how to make embroidered eyes on your stuffed animals so that you can make them for whatever plushie that you're making. Whether it's because you want it to be safe for children and you wanna give it as a gift to a baby and you don't want them choking and dying. That honestly, that reason is good enough for me, to be honest. Maybe you wanna add a little bit more personality to your plushie. Maybe your plushie has a certain eye color that you want to use yarn for and you can't seem to find any other safety eyes within the color that you want. Maybe just because you wanna up your game when it comes to embroidery skills, this video is for you. Without further ado, let's hop right in. Okay, so now we're gonna start. I'm going to use this Siamese cat that I've been working on as a custom order. Now the first thing that you need is a sewing needle and about a foot long or 30 centimeters of your yarn color of choice. I'm using baby blue because for this custom order, the Siamese cat's eyes are a baby blue color. The first thing to do is pinpoint which stitch to make the eyes on. I'm actually gonna pinpoint my to be over, I'm thinking, yeah, over here seems pretty good. I always like to use my hands as like a way to gauge where I want the eyes to be. And I think that right here for now is pretty good. Now that I have the stitch of choice, we're pretty much gonna be working only on, oh, and I forgot the stitch that I wanted to use. Hold on, let me check. Now that we have the stitch of choice, we are going to simply, to put it in sewing terms, we're gonna whip stitch over the stitch over and over and over again and layer it as we go. So first stick your needle anywhere, it doesn't matter, and then stick it on the top through the top of that stitch, right? Pull, and then stick your needle on the bottom of that stitch, and then through the top again. You should have a nice vertical line, just like so. That vertical line is going to be your basis about where your eye is located at. Now you're gonna keep going. So stick it in that same place. So you're gonna repeat that last step as many times as needed. Notice that the yarn kind of is on this side. So I'm not gonna really force it to stay anywhere. Instead, I'm just gonna encourage it to stay on this side. Now the yarn's kind of in the middle. So I'm gonna encourage it to stay in the middle. The yarn and where the yarn wants to stay is going to change. So you're just gonna have to accommodate for that by just keeping it in the position that it's in. Because if you move it too, too much, the yarn will not like it and your eyes may not come out as nice. Now, the rest of this is kind of just like a best done when you're watching instead of me talking. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. But note that as I'm continuing to sew over the eyes, I'm just layering each bit of yarn. What was once just a vertical line is now like a bigger vertical line. That's the trick to making it very circular. 
And then there'll come a point where you stop because you're just like, This is pretty great for me, to be honest. I think I've done everything that I could. So now you're gonna stick your needle at the top of that same area and then stick it on the side, like right here. For example, I'm gonna stick mine right here. Yeah, like so. Pull, and then I'm gonna stick my needle right through here. Just in on the center of the eye, because this is the eyelash, right? Now, this is where you can go crazy, add as many or as little eyelashes as you like. I always like to add one, as you can see, I think it looks really cute, but go ahead to add two some people even at three if they're really feeling it but to be honest i think one is just fine so now we have the eye the last thing that we need to do is add sparkles in the eyes so grab a white or cream colored yarn and make it about six inches or 15 centimeters long. Once you put it through your needle like so, all you're gonna do is simply stick it anywhere. Stick it through that top right corner of the eye. So for example, that's where you want to stick it. You don't want to, you want to make sure to stick it through the blue. Now you're going to stick your needle in that same spot that you stuck it in, which may be a little difficult, but don't worry. And then you can just stick it through anywhere. So I'm going to pull And now this is where it gets a little tricky. Or, well, honestly, it's not as tricky as I'm making it out to be. You have to pull gently. If you pull too little, as you can see, it just comes out as a loop. But if you pull too much, it will disappear. The best way for me to remember not to pull too much is if I place my needle right through that loop and then I pull until the needle is comfortably able to sit without sliding off if I shake the head. This is pretty good. You can even at this point twist the needle a bit just to really make it nice and round and bam. That's it. That is how you crochet an eye. And that's it. That's, it's honestly really simple when you think about it and even when you see it, but it's the action and doing it yourself that makes it a little difficult. So don't worry if your eyes look a little less like eyes, if you know what I mean. It's gonna look strange and weird in the first couple of tries, but as you continue to get better at it, it's gonna look way better. I don't know if you were able to see the eyes well in the tutorial. This is what the eye, should look like. See how cute the Siamese cat looks? And then of course you would do the same thing on the other side. Now a couple of pointers. As you can see those are some light blue eyes. When it comes to embroidering eyes, the darker the color is the better. For example, here are some embroidered eyes and I use dark blue. The eyes are really 
easily seen and the white sparkles add the perfect contrast. However, lighter colors like gray, like dark gray, like for example on this elephant, may not be the best option because they are kind of on the lighter side. This is an exception if we're talking about embroidering guys on an animal that already has dark fur. For example, a pug. As you can see, the pug's area around its eyes is already dark. So using as dark of an eye as you can sometimes doesn't really show as well as you'd like it to. However, a lighter eye in this case would actually work just great. And of course, as you saw in the tutorial, I was sewing over one stitch. But depending on what your needs are, you may have to sew over two stitches to make a ginormous eye. Of course, you're probably gonna have to repeat the step of whip stitching over and over and over again multiple times, more than what we saw in the video. And lastly, of course, do not forget to sew in all of your ends. If you don't, of course, this is pretty much just sewing at the end of the day. You're going to end up with a non-existent eye if you're not careful. With that being said, y'all, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Of course, please subscribe. All of my links are in the description and I'll see you guys soon. Take care, rest, and eat because I have not eaten yet and I am facing the consequences. Let me know what else you guys want to see. Bye.